Hello, this is Rob Papen. Let me introduce you to Predator. Maybe you have noticed that this version has a lighter colored user interface compared to the original Predator. In fact, this is the latest version. In this version, you can select this light color at the back panel. Click at the logo to visit the back panel or to go back. Besides the powerful and fat sound, the user interface makes this synth a real production beast. Let me tell you. All major controls, which you need for creating sounds, are here. The other parts you can select are the free modulation section, where you can select the free envelopes, LFOs and modulation matrix. By the way, clicking at the number makes that the current modulation is bypassed. This can be very handy to hear the difference between modulation and without. Clicking again here opens the arpeggiator screen. Of course, in the play mode you need to have the arpeggiator active. Otherwise the arpeggiator does not play. The effects section with three effects on board are always visible. By the way, you can see a bypass button which works for all effects active. But clicking at the number also bypasses a single selected FX. At the lower right size, we can see the preset section. Clicking here opens the advanced panel. Here you can set some of the other details like, for instance, the strumming time if you use the chord memory. So in total we have four additional pages, which you can select. But as said, if you are making music, the upper section of Predator is the part where you can adjust your sound very deeply. While making music, the preset section is of course also very important. As all our other products, the Quick Browser is also inside Predator. And we also have a Bank Manager, which adds a lot of overview from all the presets which are available. Another interesting detail in Predator's user interface is the color selection of the knobs. Maybe you have never noticed before, so let me explain the idea behind it. The black colored knobs are the parameters of the synthesizer parts. So in the oscillator, these are the waveforms, tuning, sub-oscillator, spread, volume and so on. Inside the filter part, for instance, the cutoff, resonance and filter type. And inside the amp section, volume and panning. Modulation amounts, these knobs are all silver in color. Like inside the oscillator section, PWM amount, and inside the filter, envelope amount, LFO and so on. So all the modulation amount knobs are in silver color. Then all the modulation parameters are colored red, like the LFO speed inside the oscillator or the filter envelope inside the filter section. So the color of the knobs reveals its function in the synthesizer. Another thing about the knob is that if you click on them with the right mouse button, a screen will open that allows you to set the parameter, but also latch to MIDI and a little help screen which tells you a bit more about the control you selected. Thank you.